So we've just got into uh, Mac here and uh, we're about to reverse on out. Um, today we are going not far from home, which is good. Um, we're going probably three or four miles up the road, if that, to Scone Palace. Um, we booked some tickets for their Christmas decoration tour sort of thing. Uh, and that's at 11.30 this morning and uh, we're on our way now. So we'll show you what it's like once we get there. So we've just arrived here at Scone Palace and right next to the palace as you drive in there's a field with some hairy coos. There's a black hairy coo. Some brown and blonde hairy coos. Look at them all, aren't they cute? We love the hairy coos. Very cool. That's the palace up there. We have a guided tour starting in about 25 minutes. So we will go up that direction and start having a look. So we've just crossed the gates and heading into the uh, palace itself. You can see the coat of arms there. This palace here is uh, where all of the Scottish kings were crowned. So it has uh, quite a history behind it. And uh, we're going to go up and uh, we paid uh, 20 pounds each to do the uh, the tour through the uh, through the palace itself so hopefully it's awesome because 20 pounds is not cheap and 20 pounds each is even not cheaper but uh, I think it'll be worthwhile the grounds are lovely all the uh, nicely mowed grass in different directions and you can see the uh, the lines in it looks great and the grounds attended beautifully beautiful little stone chapel this is called Moot Hill and Chapel just here and if you look up over there you probably can't see it very well but there's Unfortunately, I think there's no uh, filming or photography in uh, inside the castle, which is a real shame because uh, I think it's going to look quite beautiful in that. But we're not going to be able to show you that, I don't think. Uh, if we can, or if we can sneak some, we will. Um, but in general, we won't be able to. So we will show you around the outside later, but uh, we'll go and do our tour on the inside soon. So this stone here, is called the Stone of Destiny or the Scone Stone and um, this is the stone on which the kings were crowned so they would kneel on the ground and put their head over the stone and uh, uh, the sword I would imagine would be uh, touched on their shoulders and uh, they would be crowned crowned um, king. Um, the first king crowned here was this guy here, I don't know if you can read that, Kenneth McAlpin was enthroned here in uh, in Scone in 843, the year 843. So he was the first of the Scottish kings, and there's been 30 odd Scottish kings um, who were uh, crowned here. Uh, the last of them that was crowned was this fellow here, uh, Charles II, and he was enthroned in 1651. So that was the last of the Scottish kings that were crowned here. This here is just the little chapel. Some of the kings were crowned inside the chapel and uh, some of them were outside here in the open. I guess it depended on weather. And uh, yeah, really interesting little tour that we just did. And um, it's a shame that we couldn't show you the inside of the uh, palace, but uh, I guess it's, uh, it's still lived in. This is the, uh, the family home of the Murray clan and uh, they do live in the house there in on the second floor so didn't ask the lady what this the sword in the stone here was about um, i probably should have but i forgot about it oh well but there's a sword in the stone here hmm, interesting 
the grounds are quite large here. I think somebody said there, do you remember what the lady said? 32,000 acres or something like that. Um, very large, there's lots of nice walks on the ground. And um, we're just going to be heading through the arch here once Jen's finished taking a couple of photos. Heading through the arch and going around to see what we can see. One of the things our tour guide was saying was that David Douglas, who was the famous Scottish botanist uh, and gardener, used to work here on the property at uh, Scone Palace. There's the palace up there. Um, and David Douglas is known, most well known, for the Douglas fir. Uh, and you can see examples of the Douglas fir trees just there. So those trees, the Douglas fir, were named after him. Uh, and from here in uh, from here in Scotland and from Scone. Just a nice view up there through the arch up to uh, the Scone Palace. The flag flying on the top of the palace as you can see. Fluttering in the breeze there. This is one of the old graveyards here. Uh, and there's lots of Commonwealth War graves in, in this graveyard. Um, they don't like you to go in here so much because the headstones are quite unstable. Uh, and there is a possibility of them falling over. So we're not going to go in and tempt fate. We're going to continue on down the path and see what else we can see. So we've just arrived at the uh, the maze. They have a big hedge maze. Now the hedges are all dying and everything, but that's okay. Um, this hedge maze, it's in the shape of a star. And uh, there is a, a viewing platform over here. So I think we found the way to the viewing platform. We're gonna go and climb up and have a look. And uh, no, <laughs> we haven't found our way to the viewing platform. <laughs> or maybe we have. Oh, we've got to keep on going. It's, uh, we just walked under it. But I uh, really wanted to see where, uh, what, the, what the shape of it all looked like and everything. But, uh, right at the moment, we've got to keep walking the maze until we can find it. Oh well. We're in one of the corners, I can see that much. Ah, ho hum. All right, we'll come back to you soon. Okay, we think we've found it to, yes, we've found our way to the viewing platform. Woohoo! <laughs> so we're going to go up and I'll show you what the maze looks like once we get to the top. Very, very cool. Look at the hedge maze. Isn't it awesome? Over there goes up into a the peak of the star over there. More over there. Looks great with the uh, the green grass around it and uh, the hedges. After walking around for a while, we finally made it back to the exit. Yay! We got to four points of the five-pointed star. I don't know which one we missed out on. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was really fun. I enjoyed that. Well, we just went to the coffee shop and we tried to buy some scones at Scone, but um, because of COVID, everything is, uh, well, quite diminished and they don't have any and actually look they didn't look like they didn't have very much at all they had some lentil soup apparently but uh we skipped out on that because we've got our lunch in the car pull some grass out <laughs> and the hairy coo I ate out of my hand look at the hairy coo isn't the hairy coo very cool look at him her look at her she's lovely is jen getting a selfie with the highland coo Hello. <laughs> oh, that's cool. The Black Highland Coup. 
Oh, isn't it gorgeous? A little bit younger because the horns are smaller. That was cool. All right, we'll talk to you a little bit later. See ya. Bye. Wave. <laughs> She's funny.